Okay, so uh, today we're diving deep into helping our kids become lifelong learners. Mm -hmm. And you shared this blog post from Mr. Marx's Differential Dialogues, yeah. written by a guest, Emily Graham. Right. That really had me thinking, taking notes left and right. It's a good one, yeah. Yeah. I think what I found really insightful about this one was Emily's emphasis on how it's not about, you know, yeah. just cramming their heads full of facts, right. but igniting that inherent drive Yes, to learn that they're practically born with. And one of the things that really resonated with me was that idea of leading by example. Yeah. I mean, think about it. Like, how many times have you gotten excited about a new recipe or I learning a new skill? Totally. And your kid kind of gets swept up in that mm. they're watching us. All the time. All, All the time. All the time. Like absorbing everything. Yes. It's incredible. So it's less about telling them yeah. how valuable education is and more about us embodying it. Totally embodying it. Yeah. Picking up a new hobby, whatever. Yeah. Or like geeking out over a documentary. Yes. Or something like th those moments speak volumes. It's like we become these like yeah. living examples of that growth mindset. Yes. Everyone's always talking about oh. like, hey, it's cool to be curious, yeah. to try new things, yeah. even if you stumble a little bit along the way. And that actually leads perfectly into another point that Emily makes, which is all about creating a learning friendly space at home. Okay. And now this doesn't have to be anything, you know, right. fancy, like right. you don't have to go building a home library or anything, yeah, no. but just having like a dedicated space, Okay. maybe a cozy reading nook or a corner in a playroom mm -hmm. with art supplies or interesting <gasps> building materials. I love that yeah. because it's like sending this subtle signal that there this are, is important. Yeah. We value this. That's part of our daily life. Yes. This is part of who we are. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what often happens what? in those dedicated spaces? Tell me. The questions start bubbling up. Oh, for sure. Kids are hardwired to be curious, aren't they? Oh, absolutely. Like yeah. little sponges. They want to soak everything up. Yeah. They're just wired for discovery. Totally. And Emily really emphasizes like encouraging that inquisitiveness. Yes. Instead of just being like, oh, mm, not now. Right. You right, know, right. You know how sometimes you're in the middle of something and it's just easier to be like, oh, yeah. Because I said so. Or, because I said so is my go to. Right. Exactly. Yes. But she suggests like taking a breath. Okay. And seeing those questions as opportunities. Yeah, okay. Instead of giving them the answer. Yeah. Guide them towards finding it themselves. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. So instead of, you know, just handing them the answer, it's like, yeah. well, let's look that up together. Yes. What do you think might happen? I love that. Right. I love that so much. And it's like, you're nurturing that critical thinking. Yes. That yeah. problem solving. You yes. Know, yeah. Which is going to serve them so much better than just like, I... memorizing a bunch of facts. Yeah. And you know what else can make learning fun and memorable? What's that? Tapping into their passions. Oh, I love this part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is good. Okay. Use those as springboards. Okay. So, you know, yeah. like if your kid is obsessed with dinosaurs, mm -hmm. maybe you create a fossil dig in the backyard. Oh, I love it. Or if they're like always baking. Yes. You know, that's your chance to slip in yeah. some fractions and ratios. Ah, uh, sneaky, sneaky. Exactly. I love it. It doesn't have to be complicated. Right. It's just about finding those everyday connections yeah. to their interests. Totally. And it makes learning feel less like a chore. Right. And more like an adventure. Yes. Which kind of brings me to another great point that she makes, which is gamifying education. Oh, yes. This is huge. It is huge. It is huge. It's incredible how much kids learn through play. Yeah, they do. I mean, yeah. think about all the problem solving skills they pick up from building blocks. Totally. Or, you know, the strategic thinking involved in a board game. Yes, it's amazing. And you know what, these days? Yeah. There are some amazing educational apps and games out there. Really? Oh, yeah. That are both, you know, cool. fun and enriching. That's great. So it's not just about making learning fun. Right. It's also about making it memorable. Okay. Because, you know, our brains are much more likely to hold on to information yeah. when it's connected to a positive experience. That's true. We remember those aha moments. Exactly. When something finally clicks yes. and you're engaged and having a good time. Exactly. And speaking of engagement, I love how Emily talks about allowing kids to express their learning in different ways. Oh, I love that section. Because not everybody thrives in that oh, traditional no. sit and listen yeah, yeah, classroom yeah. setting. Absolutely not. Right. No. It's just, it doesn't work for every kid. Yeah, different kids, different learners, you know? Yes, different learners, yes. And Emily gives some great examples of 
how to cater to those different learning styles. I love that. Yeah, it's like we need to expand our definition of learning. Totally. What does that look like? Yes. And she talks about letting kids express their understanding through drawing, building, even putting on a play. Oh, fun. Like any of it. Yes. It's about giving them the tools to become like the storytellers of their own learning journey. You know? And when they feel that sense of ownership, that can be so powerful. Oh, absolutely. Like, this isn't something I have to learn. Yeah. This is something I discovered and I get to share it my way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's just way more fun than a worksheet. Right. So much more fun. Yeah. And, you know, this all kind of ties into, I think, maybe the most crucial point that Emily makes in this whole thing, which is teaching our kids the power of persistence. Yes, 100%. This goes back to that growth mindset yes, we we're talking sure. about. Yes. It's about. Helping them understand that intelligence isn't fixed. Mm -hmm. It's something that they can develop. Yes. Through effort and dedication. I love that. So it's like, instead of us, you know, yeah. rescuing them the second they hit a snag. Right, right. We encourage them to stick with it. Yes. And we acknowledge their effort. Oh, that's huge. Yes. That's so important. It's not just about, good job, you got it right. It's, yeah. wow, look how hard you worked at that. Yes. Look at what you learned by sticking with it. Yes, because let's be real, life is challenging. 100%. And we're not doing them any favors by pretending like it's not. Oh, no, absolutely not. We're equipping them. Yes. With the tools to face those challenges head on. Yes. Knowing that they have the power to learn and grow from them. It's like we're helping them find that voice inside that says, okay, this might be hard. Yeah. I might not get it right away, but... But I can do it. I can figure it out. I can figure it out. Yes. And you know that right there. Yeah. That shift in mindset... Yes. ...can be transformative. It can. It can be the difference between a child who gives up easily... Right. ...and one who knows... Yes. ...they have what it takes to succeed. It's powerful stuff. Really powerful. Yeah, this whole conversation's been so inspiring. Yeah, me too. Emily's insights are so practical and so doable. Mm-hmm. Very down to earth. Yeah, I feel like I'm walking away with, like, a renewed sense of purpose. Totally. And you know what I find so refreshing about her approach? Which is, is that? It's not about, like, piling more pressure yeah. on parents. Right. You know? Right. It's just about these small, intentional shifts yes. in our interactions with our kids. I love that. That can have a ripple effect on their lifelong love of learning. You know what really struck me, too? What's that? At the end of the blog post, Emily mentions that Mr. Marx has a YouTube channel called Math Adventures. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And it got me thinking. Yeah. What if we explore a fun educational video series with our kids Ooh. centered around their interests? I love that idea. Yeah. That's so fun. It could be so fun. And, you know, all of this ties into, I think, maybe the most crucial point that Emily makes, which is teaching our kids the power of persistence. A hundred percent. Yes. This goes back to that growth mindset we were talking about. Yeah. It's about helping them understand that intelligence isn't fixed. Like, yes, you're born with it or you're not. Exactly. It's not like that. It's something they can develop. It's a muscle. You can grow it through effort and dedication. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We need to encourage them to stick with it. Yes, 100%. And we need to acknowledge their effort. And that's huge. Yes. Like, that is so important. Instead of saying, good job, you got it right, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's, wow, look how hard you worked at that. Look what you learned by sticking with it. Yes. Even when it was hard. Yes, because, let's be real. Yeah. Life is challenging. Life is hard. And we're not doing them any favors by pretending that it's not. No, we're not setting them up for success that way. So we're equipping them with the tools right. to face those challenges. Yes. Head on. Yes. It's knowing they have the power to like learn and grow from those. A hundred percent. They've got this. It's like we're helping them find that voice inside that says, uh -huh. okay, this is hard. Right. I might not get it right away, yeah. but I can figure it out. I can do this. Yes. And that right there, like that little mindset shift, that can be everything. It can be huge. It could be the difference between a kid who like, you know, gives up when things get hard. Right. Versus a kid who's like, I got this. I can figure this out. I can problem solve. It's powerful stuff. So powerful. Yeah, I love that. This has been fantastic. I love these deep dives with you. Me too. Always a good time. So many good takeaways. So many inspiring ideas. Yeah, it's a great reminder that learning really can be like this joyous journey. Yes. For us and for our kids. Yes, for everybody involved. Which can be easy to forget sometimes, I think. Oh, for sure, for sure. But I love that reminder. Me too. This was great. <laughs> <laughs>